Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Tomorrow is Clara's birthday, so I'm going to go bake her her birthday cake because I was given a job and I'm making her a yellow cake with chocolate frosting. So I'm gonna go do that today so that it's done for her tomorrow. I'm making Bean's cake. I'm finishing it up while she builds Legos, which she got for her birthday. Hi, Bean. Hi, Queen Bean. Hi. This was Clara's main birthday present from my mom because she loves Legos. And it's massive, look at it. It's the Doctor Strange house. Another very exciting thing has been happening. We hatched ducks and they're all in there. I know, it's so cute. But you can hear their little squeaks, listen. It was Clara's birthday a couple of days ago and the party is continuing. She has her friends over tonight and I was put in charge of snacks because I've been told I'm a very good hostess when it comes to snacks. So I have arranged pop or uh, pretzels, ruffles, and kettle chips or whatever they're called. I'm making like a huge bowl of popcorn right now and I'm about to bake those cookies. So I really hope that my snacks are appreciated. Oh, I also do have something healthy. I got a veggie tray for the children. So all you moms, don't come after me. I do have vegetables. This is the biggest bowl of popcorn I've ever seen in my life. It's four bags right here. This is nice. Just gotta get the cookies. This is the coolest thing. I've always wanted us to do this and we're finally doing it. They bought it for her birthday, but we'll get to use it tomorrow. A projector and we'll put a bunch of blankets. Oop bunch of blankets and pillows. How cute is this? They got it to work! Good job guys. Thank you. Something is seriously wrong with you. I'm so upset because my snack, my my job of being snack person was going so well and then I think I burnt the cookies. I was no, outside. No, I think they look good. They look good. No, they look really no, crispy. Look I was outside setting everything up and watching them do the projector and I think I burned them. No, yeah, they look good. Yeah, I hope they're okay. They're actually not too burnt at all. They they really I might be, they might be my best batch yet. This is for them. These we are saving for us. And then I will deliver it to them. They're watching The Conjuring, which is the worst movie to ever exist. And it gives me literal nightmares for days. So I'm going to run up here and watch something pleasant. Okay, these are the baby ducks. I'll try to introduce you to everyone. That one back, all the way in the back is Turtle. Uh, let's see, I think this is Pip. I think this is Sabrina, that's my girl right there. And then this is Daphne. Wait, I could have all of this wrong. No, this is, oh this is, this is Pip, and this is Daphne. This is Sabrina, and that's Turtle. Have you seen anything cuter? Look at them! This is Sabrina! <laughs> yeah. Say hi to the camera. Okay, you can go back to me. Okay, 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 okay. She's a hungry girl. Like her mom. <laughs> Family pool day! My grandparents, Grammy and Papa are visiting for the day and we are swimming and then we're having a little like cookout tonight because I leave tomorrow so they wanted to come say goodbye. It is Sunday. It's rainy and gloomy today. So even mother nature is sad that we're going, but it's time to finally pack. I have the carry-on packed. My suitcase is almost packed. My bag is almost packed. Do you like that? 
Yeah, so we are playing phase 10. Oh, we're just hanging out until we have to leave, which is like in an hour. Forever until really? Boo's cousin got contact with whatever paid him, he would set up a deal. Well, obviously I'm back in LA, I'm back home, and I've left Pittsburgh. I'm both happy and sad because, well, okay, so first of all, I had only planned two, tri two trips to Pittsburgh this summer. I planned a trip in the beginning and a, a trip at the end. Brooklyn was supposed to join me for the second trip in August and they were just supposed to be like a week or two long. I think I was supposed to stay two weeks and then Brooklyn was gonna come like halfway through or whatever. And I got home to Pittsburgh and I just sort of stayed forever. <laughs> and I wasn't planning on staying that long, but when I got home, I just realized how nice it was. For months leading up to summer, I was just craving peace and quiet so badly. So I think when I got home, plus being surrounded by my family, obviously, it was just paradise. And so I ended up extending my trip. Brooklyn ended up coming up the first time I went. She stayed for like two weeks. I had already been there for like two weeks. And then I came back to LA for a week with Clara and we stayed in LA for a week and then I was supposed to go to Miami on a trip with Brooklyn and come back to LA for a while and then only go to Pittsburgh for like five days for Clara's birthday in August but uh when I was in Miami Clara went back to Pittsburgh I went to Miami I was supposed to stay in Miami and then go to Pittsburgh or stay in Miami and go back to LA I ended up switching it and I came right from LA Miami to Pittsburgh and I stayed there pretty much all of August. It's now August 21st, or no, it's August 22nd. I was in Pittsburgh pretty much the entire summer and it, like I said, it was wonderful. It was exactly what I needed, like perfect experience, perfect summer. And now I'm back in LA and I it feels so good to be back. Like everything couldn't have worked out in a better way because I stayed in Pittsburgh just long enough. I think by the end I was, I wasn't even ready to go yet, to be honest. It's not like I was itching to get back and I was super anxious. I was really sad to leave my family. And now that I'm here though, I am happy to be back and like back doing things because when you're visiting your family, I think it's a little easy to like not stay on track of things and not stay on top of things and not really have like a routine or anything or get much done. You're just sort of in family mode where you're hanging out with your family and everyone was free at different times. So I would go from hanging out with my mom to hanging out with my sister to hanging out with my dad and then we'd all do something and I was just, I don't know, being a human being, I guess. And now that I'm back here, I'm actually so more, so much more appreciative of LA than I was when I left. I was so over it when I left. And now I'm just so happy to be back. I start school next week and I'm really excited for that, which is, I'm like, why am I so excited? But I'm really excited to be learning again. Back in LA, uh, just honestly catching up on a lot of things. <laughs> I have so many appointments tomorrow. I have a lot. I, I, I have to get my nails done. I just have everything I need to catch up on. And then I'm just sort of trying to prep for next week. School starts on Monday. Like I said, I'm so excited. I have like so many plans to see friends this week and stuff. And I just got my hair cut. I just got a little trim. I didn't get a color because my hairstylist is 39 weeks pregnant and about to give birth. So she can't really do like a full six hour day so she just gave me a little a little trim i'm currently in the process of growing it out <laughs> it's a little bit short now it was longer and uh it was quite unhealthy so i had to get a little bit chopped off i said goodbye to my family i said goodbye to pittsburgh but the good news is is i have so many trips planned with them this fall so i will see them like a ton like my mom might even come out to la in like two weeks <laughs> so it's not really goodbye it's like by Pittsburgh mostly. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I feel that I wasn't maybe the best vlogger this time because I was very distracted by everything going on. It was my sister's birthday. We were leaving. I had to, we had ducks. I had to say goodbye to the ducks too. It was all very hectic. I will see you all next time and have a beautiful day.